This is the OBD11 device. Your OBD11 app won't work with any other device, only this one. So let's plug it in. If you have a Volkswagen or Audi, Škoda Seat, the OBD part will be under the steering wheel. You can see it. So press connect. Oh, pick the OBD11. I already used this device. I have it over a year, but uh, we are connecting it for the first time. It's, it's really simple. It works without any pairing in the phone. Now it detects the car. It's a Volkswagen Jetta 2016. This is the engine code. Bat battery voltage. And you can hit scan for diagnostic. So now we have like 5 to 10 minutes. Okay, so the scan is finished. We have a one faulty control unit. Here, are the, here is the list of all control units. And if you have a fault code in some control unit, you can see it here, the red circle, and it shows that it has one fault code. Here you can go to faults. You can see the trouble code here. If you click on it, you also get a freeze frame data. You can see the mileage when the code was triggered. Speed, temperature, blah blah blah. For the O2 sensor, just you can erase the code by holding this button. So that is full scan. Now let's check the, the car. Now you have information about the car, uh, the VIN number, year of, year of production, body type, saloon, mileage. You have the engine code, engine power, number of cylinders, history. If someone else was doing something with the OBD tool on your car, you can't see it here. This is just history for the OBD 11 app and for this account. So if you log into my car with your account, you would see nothing here. Battery voltage, you can see some data here. You also have this information if you have lower voltage than the 12. Battery, battery needs to be charged. If it's higher than 15 volts, alternator must be tested. So you can get a little bit of advice. Let's check the RPM. This will change when I step on the gas pedal. 2000 RPM. Now we can check the apps. The OBD11 is famous for these apps. This is like a pre-coded tweaks to your car. So for example, let's say needle sweep gauge test. This means when you put the key and turn the ignition on, the gauges do little spin. I have this already set on off on. So just to, for you to see. I will change it. I will turn it off. Now if I put my key in and turn it, nothing will happen. Now let's try changing it. Just press on. Use the green button. You need to hold it. Now it's on. So let's try it now. See? Now the gouges do a spin. Now if you if you don't have an ultimate plan, there will be a cost of credits. Every every one of these up costs usually it's 10 credits, but can be 100 or 50 for the mirror link in motion up. But since I have the ultimate plan, all my apps are free. And that is that is probably the best plan. 
because if you have maybe you buy 100 credits I don't know it I think it costs maybe 18 euros or 18 dollars and when you have 100 you can burn it pretty quickly let's try this comfort turn signals you can change the value for the how many times will the turn signal flash I have it currently on 5 so now if I use my turn signal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or I maybe we can do 2 now when I use the signals 1 that's it. So this is this is really good app for the beginners. You don't have to know how to code these things. You just press. You just use the one-click application, and it's really simple. Now on the top you have the retrofit apps. This is for installing the new components. So for example, if I would install the put the lights here is the app for coding them to my car and also you have the workshop apps usually you can I use this for the oil service reset or ins inspection service reset move on go to car control units let's pick mm, dashboard You can also do the coding yourself with the long long coding. You have all these options. This is just for the dashboard control unit. There is not really much here. For example, you can use the you can turn off the seatbelt warning. There is also one click application for this. But if you want, if you don't have ultimate plan, you can save credit with this. You just do it from the long coding. And also what I recommend when you do a long coding, do a screenshot of this. So if you mess something up, you can go back. This In the dashboard unit, you just do a screenshot. But for example, when you go to Central Electrics, now let's go to the long coding. See now you have this all these options. And this is the long code this is the code for the whole unit. So if you want to if you want to play with this, just press on this top bar and here you can copy the original value. So now I will copy it. I will paste it somewhere and when I mess something up here, I can just paste the original value here and it, it will go back to original settings. You have all these options. So if you if you have a pro plan, but this long coding option is only for pro plan and ultimate plan. So if you have just the free plan, you won't be able to get to do long coding. But if you have pro plan and you have to buy credits, you can save the credits just by coding these things yourself. Okay, so let's check. Let's go back to the dashboard unit. Also, what you can what you can check here is live data. Get all this data, and this is just from the dashboard unit. Every control unit have its own live data. Let's pick I don't know 
oil fill level fuel level counter you will pick data and now it shows what you pick what I miss from the more expensive diagnostic tool is the graphs you don't have you have just the data you don't have, you don't get to see graphs but still for this price it's it's pretty good tool <clears throat> now let's see what we else we can, we have here station also you can do some changes to your car with the adaptation what we have here oh, again seat bell learning time oh you can adjust the time with the controls on the dashboard but let's try it our now we have the eight, 18 it's Europe time so 6 p.m. I will try change it to for example 20 press ok and it will change the time this is a pretty cool way to change the time in your car, but to be honest, it's useless since you have, since you have uh, controls to change time on your dashboard. But it's pretty fun. I will change it back to 15. And we have the 18. Okay, let's check. Now this is the also great test. You have the output test. This means the this tool is bidirectional, like the expensive scan tools. This is the feature that comes in scan tools, maybe in scan tools worth of six, seven hundred dollars and more. Go to output test. And you can command your car to do to perform a test of components. For, for example, let's pick speedometer. Oh, I should probably light the interior light. See, no, I, while I, I hold it, it will do test. Let's check uh, speedometer. Do we have RPM here? Tachometer? Is it the tachometer RPM? I don't think so. Oh yes, it's RPM. Let me just start the engine. Damn, <laughs> I almost didn't start. I have a low battery. And the gouges went back to normal. Let's try the other control unit. We can pick, uh, I don't know, driver door. Output test. Front lighting. Let's see it. What it does. Oh, it lights everything up. Okay, now so I have the lights off. I will press the green button, so every of the lights should come 
should light up. Yes. Now this can uh, this is great tool for diagnostic because for example you have the let's say your car is overheating and you don't know if your cooling fan works. So if you want to find out you have to start your car, maybe drive it or press your foot on the gas for like 15 minutes and wait for the fan to start spinning or you can just command it from the from this tool and now you know right away is the if the fan is working or not. Let's go to engine. Output test. Fan one control circuit. Circuit. I will try to do the output test. And the fan started spinning. I'm not sure if you can if you heard it, so I will go outside of the car. I hope you could hear it. The fan started spinning and now I know my fan is working instantly. With this you can test almost every every one every one of your components in car. Okay, so let's go to do I think that is pretty much all. You have the reset. Here now, I wouldn't do this. Key, key off, on reset, soft reset, hard reset. This I never tried actually. I just read in some forum that some guy tried the hard reset and it was not the reset to the original values, but it was he erased all of the data from the control units. Con control unit. So don't mess with. Here you have lamp test. This will, I think, this will light up every every single light in your car. Let's try this. Yeah, everything is light up. Go back. You have the also discussions. This will take you to the OBD11 forum. Where you can discuss and get some advice from the more experienced users. But this is pretty much it. And I will see you in the next video. I have some more scan tools coming. I ordered my Carlic and also Carista app. So we can try those when they arrive.